So I want to go back for a moment to opening on Broadway. So you walked to the theater for the opening performance. Mm, what was going through your head, your heart? Did well, you take a cab to the theater? For no, the I don't take performance? cabs anywhere in New York or Toronto. Was Fiona intimidated? Was she excited? I think in rehearsal I was intimidated. There was a point where I said, because I knew that the actress who preceded me had gone from the New York company into the London company. So I just assumed she was very good. And I maybe wasn't quite as good. And so I said one day to Des Kennedy, I just want to be as good as Catherine. He said, stop it. You're here because you're Fiona Reed and we want you. And that message was given very much in rehearsal. By the time, by the time you get to opening of Harry Potter on Broadway or Toronto, you've done 22 previews or something ridiculous. Okay. So it's just another, right. you know. Uh, interestingly, our first audience, the producers, Sonia Friedman and Colin Callender were, and David Mervish were there. and That was a huge surprise. We just thought it was our first preview. And I'm really glad we didn't know they were there. Um, so then by the time we got to what we call press night, somebody said, oh, the press has already been. This is just so your opening time. night at the Shaw Festival show, your opening night at the Stratford show, your opening yeah. night at Broadway, are they all in the same ballpark? No, or no, they're, they're different very games? different, very different. First of all, Stratford, talk about being intimidated. I did my worst acting at Stratford, I think, because I probably was intimidated the whole time because I didn't think there was a spirit of risk there. And what I loved about going to Shaw was the spirit of that you could fall on your face and there was someone there to pick you up and that you were supposed to have fun in rehearsal. And I didn't, that wasn't my experience at Stratford. I, I've spoken to people who have had that experience at Stratford. They have had fun. Good for them. I didn't. <laughs> How many um, years were you at, at Stratford? I can't remember. I like did three, four, three, five, and then I did there? two more. And then you went back, yeah. yeah. Um, Where you were at Shaw for like a 10 year? 12, I think, but, but not, Jim Mizan always used to tease me that, oh, you never do more than two years running. Because I always used to worry that I would um, get stale. There was a point that Robin Phillips was working with us in Alberta, and um, I think one day he was in a technical rehearsal in either Winnipeg or Edmonton, and he suddenly thought, oh my God, I've got four people in this company, and they're all from the Shaw Festival. And he said, I will not have this Shaw Festival acting in my theater. Now, the terrible thing is that we all knew what they meant. Because there was, at a certain time, a sort of, I'm very British, and I'm very Shaw Festival, and this is how I talk, and this is what I do, and I play this kind of character, and this is what, and I was always afraid that I was becoming that. I probably did become that, but I was deathly afraid. Of in your Shaw that. years? Yes. So I always thought, well, I'll do two years, and then I'll do something else. And, and, because and, you did a lot of Noel Coward. Yeah, I did, and other things. I did a lot of Granville Barker, too, and Neil Monroe was quite wonderful, because he'd go, well, when we did The Seagull, um, I remember saying, well, I, I'm playing Arcadon and she's an actress. And Neil said, yes, Fiona, but you don't need to show us that she's an actress. We, we, she's told us she's an actress. We know that she's an actress. She doesn't need... So he was there as sort of counterbalance to that Shaw Festival acting. So And was that left over from Paxton Whitehead? A bit, a bit. I think Christopher really wanted to mix it up. and um, But there, I, there were just... You know, you're as good as, well, I'm only as good as my directors. I, I'm, I can, I'm capable of being phenomenally bad. And I always tell directors, if you don't direct me, you'll be sorry. Um, but some people come sort of with a bit of performance. And, and um, anyway. Um, I want to go back to Bay yes, because you, you mentioned ahead. Shaw and you mentioned Stratford and we talked about Broadway. How you, there you are as an actress and you moved uh, how do you hear the kind of company that you're moving into and say, oh, this is the Stratford style or this is the Stratford expectations? How do you, when you go to Shaw, get an idea, oh, this is the set of expectations for performing here? Is that I, I can only speak to it after the fact. I can only say that um, whatever happened to me at Stratford, I took whatever influences and and, and became intimidated. And when one is intimidated, when Fiona is intimidated, it affects my breath. Well, 
acting is breath. Acting is what liberties you take with your breath. And I, I just probably, uh, there's something about when you're trying to be like someone else and you're not being true to your own. Well, we both worked at Stratford, we know what that is.